Hi guys, today we're going to talk about self-limiting beliefs. Now, the interesting thing that I've learned kind of in my journey is that um, life is pretty much based on how you perceive it. It actually, life actually doesn't really happen to you. It's kind of your perception of how it happens to you. And so therefore, sometimes we need a new story that we tell ourselves um, and we need to change our beliefs because oftentimes our beliefs are made up of what our parents believed, right? Or maybe situations or environments kind of uh, led us to have these beliefs. And the thing is, is that those beliefs are not written in stone and they can be changed and especially should be changed if they're doing some harm to you and not helping you to live the best life that you deserve. Uh, for instance, I have always had a self-belief that nobody would ever help me, that if I reached out for help, no one would help me. And you know, that came across um, because growing up I had a violent mother um, and I used to reach out to my aunts and my grandmother and you know they all kind of knew she was but nobody ever really helped me um, and so you grow up you know if that's your kind of your that's your truth as a child you kind of grow up thinking that you know what I'm not gonna ask for help because when I asked for help they weren't there but it's really not true so what you need to do is whatever those self limiting beliefs are, you need to turn them into something positive. And so obviously if my self-limiting belief is that people will not help me, I need to change that and I need to write that down and I need to say there are people who will help me and who want to help me. Because if you keep saying that over and over again, you start to believe it and you start to craft something different that goes on in your head and how you perceive outside um, behavior. You know, if, if you're a person who believes people don't help you, you can just imagine how you interact with people or how you respond to people. Um, and so whatever your self-limiting beliefs are, you need to figure that out and you need to write them down. So you should have three of them. And I want you to do is write three of your self-limiting beliefs and then I want you to switch tables and I want you to turn them all into a positive, three positive things. Okay?